What's up guys, it's Tyler the Most Trash Show on YouTube um, and today I'm going to make a very quick video um, based off of one of my students that said, hey coach, um, I'm on a tight budget, I can't afford to spend too much but I don't want to get absolute junk, can you make any budget recommendations for me for all the gear I need to have so that way I'm not constantly borrowing gear from other people or like the junk bin that we have at the gym with old beat up equipment that people borrow when they don't bring theirs in. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna recommend is uh, in any striking sport, the first thing I would suggest, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, MMA, Muay Thai, whatever, is boxing gloves. You gotta have boxing gloves, 16 ounces. Unless you're maybe a female, you probably can get away with um, 14s but a good rule of thumb is if you're a grown ass man or woman um, 16 is safe 16 ounces is the way to go but the RDX F7 gloves the RDX F7 gloves right now on Amazon you can get for under 40 bucks okay it's an unbelievable deal you're not gonna get the most incredible amazing mind-blowing glove in the world but they're good enough to last you about a year with moderate use, meaning you're going to class two, three, maybe four times a week, six months to a year. Um, and they're not gonna piss off your sparring partners with how they're gonna flake and get scratchy and start to crack and stuff like that. Like those stupid, cheap, dumb Everlast gloves. If you don't know which ones I'm talking about, go to Big Five, go to Walmart, go to uh, whatever your local sporting goods store is and look for the $40, it's like 30 to $50 always, these stupid, they're usually black with a little yellow Everlast symbol, the E symbol on there, and they're like between 30 and 50 bucks every time. Those are absolute caca, don't buy those for any reason at all, they probably spend less than five bucks to make them, they're absolute junk, there's nothing redeemable about them, don't buy those ones. These RDX ones are cheaper than those or around the same price, under 40 bucks on Amazon, I will link it. Um, they come in cool colorways. Buy the 16 ounce versions if you're grown. And um, you know, they have a you know slightly above average wrist support, really solid knuckle support surprisingly, and I've been punched in the face by them before. They don't feel like junk when you're getting hit with them. So your sparring partners will thank you for not having those Everlast junk that they make. Um, that a lot of people start out with, okay? If you bought them already, it's not your fault. If you have the receipt, take that shit back and buy you the RDX F7s, all right? So right now, we're under 40 bucks. Step two, okay, for your gloves, you're gonna need hand wraps. And I would suggest fast wraps. The reason is, you're brand new, you're thinking about trying this, you don't know what the fuck is, you don't know how to wrap your hands, you've never wrapped your hands in your life. Why would you just be able to go to your first class and be able to wrap your hands? You gotta have your hands wrapped before class. Students who watch this, I know you guys show up last minute and take your sweet times to skip warmups, wrapping your hands extra slow so you don't have to warm up and you can jump into the first drill. I, I'm on to you, I know, it pisses coach off. Don't piss your coach off, come in ready to work, okay? But these fast wraps mitigate all that. Zero excuses anymore. Look at this, watch, time it, ready? You pull it out of your bag, huzzah, all right? Slip your hand in, step one. Okay, step one of two. I'm. Just, this is, uh, you know, idiot-proof stuff. Slip your hand in, step one of two, then take this strip, this uh, strap, wrap it around, Velcro, boom. Look at that, under 10 seconds. My hand is fully ready to put in my glove and I'm ready to work for at least an hour, okay? Um, with these, um, this is like, yeah, these are title boxing made, these ones. Guys, don't spend money on these. These, you can afford to go and get the bottom barrel Wish brand, Timu brand junk because I these ones are title brand. I own some like $5 junk I bought from Amazon Fast Wraps. They're all the same. I haven't found one that I'm like, whoa, this blows me away. If you get the, the, the lifter's glove style Fast Wrap, like this, and I will link a cheap one I found on Amazon in there for like, I think it was like six bucks. It's gonna be fine. It's suitable, it's fine, it gets the job done. It gives you a slightly extra wrist protection with this strap here, and slightly extra knuckle protection, just enough for what you need with this extra um, 
you know, padding in the knuckles here. And that's all you need from your hand wraps. That's all hand wraps are designed to do. Protect your wrist a little bit, protect your knuckles. And most importantly, when you're starting out, absorb the sweat and the stink. You don't want your brand new gloves to get stinky two weeks in because you never wear hand wraps like a little sucio. These will absorb the sweat. And the great thing about these is they're machine washable. You can use them over and over and over until the Velcro goes bad. That's usually the first thing that goes bad because they use really bad at Velcro on all of these. I've never seen one with good Velcro, but you know, I've had these for a while and they've held up okay. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> they've held up okay. You know, the loop doesn't come off. Anyways, so boom, these things, th these title ones, I think I um, got like a title gift card or like a, they, they gave me a gift card with a purchase I got. So I was like, what am I gonna do with this 10 bucks? And I just spent these on, spent it on these. But don't get name brand ones. You don't need them. Go get the cheapest ones you can find on Amazon. I will link them in the description below and uh, you'll get ones, you'll get a pair for like six bucks. So right now we're at gloves and hand wraps for about 50 bucks. Okay, boom, that's that's your wrists and fists taken care of. The next thing I'm about to tell you about is the best deal on this whole list, the highest quality shit on this whole list. I don't know how they're making money off of this product. It's too good to be true. I bought one for one of my students years ago and I was like so blown away when I got it in. I, I opened up the packaging, I checked it out because I wasn't gonna give it to him if it was junk. And I was like, bro, if my $125 um, Venom uh, Elite Evo shin guards took a shit on me and I was strapped for cash, I would have zero problem switching over to this. These ones are $45 and they're called the Valley Sport, V-A-L-I Sport, Nista, N-I-S-T-A shin guards. So tight, I know that's a mouthful, I will link it below, but Valley Nista shin guards. These shin guards are 45 fucking dollars and they are in my opinion, you have to spend two and three times that amount of money to get anything that's near the quality of these shin guards. They have the ridge that goes over your, your shin to protect your shin nerves. They have an extra ridge that goes over your foot to protect your metal carpals. It's, it's a good looking shin guard. They're hook and loop, uses quality hook and loop. They have a built-in loop in the side that's um, plastic like the way Twins does um, rather than like the stupid metal ring that gets rusty all the time and starts uh, you know, hurting people or, or eating away at your equipment when it rubs against it. It fucks up the leather of other things in your gym bag. It ha it's, it's quality build, hook and loop. The, the best way to make hook and loop is with the plastic built into the actual shin guard um, loop like these ones and like Twins uses, in my opinion. Okay, so right now, boom, we have 50 bucks with the gloves and the uh, hand wraps, and now 45 more shin guards. Boom, we're almost all the way there and we haven't even spent a hundred bucks yet. Maybe after taxes, it's a hundred bucks. But right now, just for the amount that you're spending on these items alone, it's right around 95 bucks, okay? Maybe it's a hundred after, after tax and stuff, all right? But um, the next thing um, that's absolutely essential is a mouth guard. And I, just like I wanna caution you against those stupid Everlast gloves, the cheap ones, I wanna caution you against mouth guards that say gel mouth guard. If they say gel anything in there, don't buy that shit. There's a new type of mouth guard that's been out the last five years that's absolute trash. Guys that aren't used to having mouth guards in their, in their mouths because they're new and they're just getting into it, spit them out all the time because what they do, the new gel ones, you don't mold them. You just put them in their mouth and there's like a little gel that forms around your teeth so it kind of grips your teeth, okay? In theory, it sounds good, but you want something that's gonna stick to your teeth. You're gonna open your mouth, you're gonna be breathing through your mouth. I know in theory, you should be always breathing through your nose and just keep your mouth closed when you're fighting, but that's not realistic. You get tired, you start breathing with your mouth open, those gel ones fall right out because they're not sticking to your teeth, they're molding around them. You get a bite and boil mouthpiece, okay? and at least you get a little bit of your teeth marks are actually permanently indented in there after you boil and bite them versus these gel ones that reform back to whatever shape you bought them in every time. So if you're not gonna get, like I have a custom mouth guard where you have to bite into a clay mold and mail it back to the manufacturer and then they give you a personal one in the mail, 
get the boil and bite, get the shock doctor. I'll link that in the description below. But that's like 15 bucks. So 15 bucks, we're at under 120 bucks. I got you shin guards, uh, fast wraps, uh, boxing gloves, and now a mouth guard for under 120 bucks. Okay, the last thing that's highly recommended, females this need not apply, but dudes, just get yourself a cup. I'm gonna link below the same exact one I have. So if you buy this, you'll be rocking if, who cares, but the same exact chonies slash cup that I use. It's a plastic cup um, and it's, it's, it's boxers, or excuse me, briefs, I guess they would, or boxer briefs with the front pocket to slip your cup in. Really easy to use, really comfortable, feels like all the other boxer briefs I have except for there's a front pocket for a cup. Guys, you need to use it, especially if you're in kicking sports, okay? Um, guys get kicked in the balls, get kicked in the dick all the time and it sucks. It stops the class. Everybody else stops sparring and looks and points and laughs because look at you, dumbass, you got kicked in the balls and you didn't wear a cup. I try to wear my cup as often as possible. Sometimes I forget, I'm not gonna lie, but I try to wear mine. Um, it's really important so you can go home to your girl or your, your mans, whatever you're into and be able to perform there and you don't want to go to the hospital because, you know, somebody kicked you too hard in the dick and it's it just happens all the time so protect with, with a cup um so that's like the cup i link is like i think it's like 25 bucks so let's play it safe and say okay you spend 150 bucks for 150 bucks shin guard hand wraps gloves mouthpiece cup okay those are the essentials you have all of those things and you can go to class and not have to borrow anything from anyone and everyone will take you seriously enough to know okay this guy has some intermediate equipment but no one's gonna be like look at this fucking guy with the wish brand fucking whatever everyone's gonna be like oh you know respectable brands there rdx respectable brand okay um those shin guards look good i've probably never seen valley sport before if i'm not in the in the community or if i'm not up hip on game but good looking shin guards this guy knows what he's doing. He knows what he's buying good stuff or she, you know? So those are the essentials, very important. The last thing I wouldn't consider essential, especially if you're not competing, um, but it's gym to gym. There's different policies on this. Um, if you want headgear, go buy headgear, talk to your coach, talk to other guys in your gym. If everyone else has headgear and they all put it on before they spar, Get yourself some headgear. It's good to practice in them because if you do compete at every level besides pro, they're going to make you wear it anyway, so you might as well get used to wearing it. But um, there are pros to headgear. I personally don't like wearing it, um, but I have my own personal stuff about headgear I'm not going to get into. But I do wear, I do own headgear, and I do wear it before I have competition, so I get used to wearing it, okay? So wear headgear, um, optional, unless nobody else in your gym does, then don't worry about it. But um headgear i can't make a great recommendation on because i have a cheap title 25 dollar fucking headgear that's whatever it's fine um but 150 bucks i got you everything to get you started on your muay thai kickboxing mma journey okay um guys spar guys and girls that are grown sparring 16 ounce gloves the shin pads are gonna do you fine and then after that Hey man, if you anticipated spending 200 or 250 bucks, go get you some tie shorts or some MMA shorts. Go, you know, go online and get you some sweet fucking styling gear so you're not like a little noob in your basketball shorts with the fucking pockets on the outside flopping out when you're throwing kicks, all right? Looking like a little like a dork in your in your weird and one shorts, all right? So, you know, get get gear that matches the sport you're doing, okay? But as far as the equipment for performing and safety and everything else, that's all you need. 150 bucks or less. And I'm going to link all this shit below. Thanks for watching. Garage is the most trash show on YouTube. And we out of this bitch.